smattering of it that they look uh, quite solid as if if the, if the heavens eventually opened up we will be in for a deluge here oh great opportunity for rangers and that one is what does he do and he's standing in and he represents he waits and decides finally it is rangers it is Ogiozo again and that is the youngster that is turning on the side here and the body looking a little bit confused a little bit surprised but happy nonetheless because he's applauding that that was sweating and i'm sure christian Ogiozo will happily ever score an easier goal well, let's check that out. Beautiful build up from, from Rangers. Four defending that side from uh, that angle and just gifted the ball away. On a platter of good, Obiozo tucks that one in. And uh, I guess he would have been saying thank you very much that time. Goalkeeper uh, Tekamelai uh, stood no chance at all. And from another angle, uh, he saw that one and uh, kisses to the crowd and who has uh, gotten a brace here. So early. The chance for Ayimba! Left footed! Nice goalkeeping. I wouldn't give anything to a miser. This was the chance. That would be also a wonderful technique there. Dropping the ball. And a wonderful shot from Peter Onyekachi. But the veteran John Ngadi made sure he had that ball in his sight. But wonderful technique there. Bye. Obiozo Christian to drop it. Bye. Obiozo Christian to drop the ball down. Lovely left footed. Short and of course an equally left. Lovely save uh, from goalkeeper. But good enough. The boys matured physically. Chikatara we knew last year was not this big. Here comes a chance for Ayimba. Not there. We thought Christian Obiozo had gone all out, but he unselfishly laid the ball there for Peter Onyekachi. But brave goalkeeping from the very experienced John Ngadi. He spread himself like a giant. And in the process, some part of his body, precisely his leg this time around, shifted that ball. Great goalkeeping from another look at that a brave 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 fantastic goalkeeping from Uluacha. a chance for a cross players converging in the box and a chance at all it's one one and it's Christian Obiozo that finally got to the end of that uh, shot from Eto. Obiozo, a player in form, a striker in consistency in the past ten matches. His hit is the fourth goal of the season. And what a time for him to do that. And what a team to play against and score against Javier Warriors. 1-1. And we're going to hopefully go into the local room for the end of the first half. But with that 1-1 scoreline, we'll wait for that. Christian Obiozo has really developed. You saw him take this, appeared from nowhere up down the letters pass and tapped the ball past the veteran in Gadi. Now he has a poacher's instinct. That is another part he's added to his game of late. When he was at Rangers, he seemed to be a player that didn't have much potential. But ever since he left over Kano Pillars and now Aimba, he's been unstoppable once on the pitch. Glenn in the Champions League in Morocco. Yeah, he would have been awesome for them. I mean, his miss is because he was scoring goals in almost every match for the few months he was there. Obiozo, Obiozo! Obiozo, you should have seen a player right there. Take another look. But I felt he, he did very well. On this occasion, he had a war bar not too much. He beat a room for pace. All he had to do was a contact. If somebody were on the line, to would have just tap it into the net. It could even have been an own goal if an, if an opponent wasn't. I felt that was good, but then no contribution from his opponents. The third game is missing. Corner kick comes. Left footed one. Play on the away, not quite. Sikiru! And it is goal number three for Yimba. Obioso! As cool as Cucumber. Christian Obioso. Action resumes. Well, that was it. As you can see in all of this, we saw you see him there way behind everybody. We saw Obioso way behind everybody. And the ball came to meet him where he was. All he had to do was to chip it over John Ngadi. Even a blind man, in my opinion, will have spotted him offside. The Enyimba striker is the man in form, and it showed in the way he converted the penalty for his fifth goal in six matches.
Bruno Zuchoko came away with it. Jogbara looks to send it forward down that far side. Obiozor. Nonzo Obiozor. Toward the back post as well. And it must have been a set dead from Milton Mube that the man directly behind Abu Bakar Ibrahim has already proved his ability to score goals. I mean, and in the winner against Morocco and smashed a spectacular effort goal bound against Ghana that was agonizingly close to being the only goal. Yep. Good calling from the goalkeeper. Rubio Zor, far side. Delivery opportunity is certainly apparent here for Nigeria. Did that ball cross the goal line? Stevens Kumalo says it did. By the way, that ball had been cleared. And Nigeria again, while threatening for an opening goal in this back keeper. Now, his left hip. Ball crossing the goal line on the near side. Obiozor looked to keep that in play, and good call from Steven Skumalo. Tie ball having crossed the goal line. Well, that was at their last meeting at the 2006 Africa Cup of Nations. But, uh, Nigeria have dominated these matches over the years. Chance here to wrap it up in the 90. They've been threatening a goal and it's finally come with five minutes to play. He'll be cautioned for this. But the Inugu Rangers man, Chinonzo Obiazor, his first appearance in this tournament, scores the goal that almost certainly will seal third place for the Super Eagles. First match, first goal. And a first caution here as well. Salutes above, gets to celebrate, and this match is seemingly not going. Nigeria ahead numbers coming inside the area, delivery from the far side, splendid again. As Uzuenyi off the bench does what he does best. And justice, justice, Ejike Uzuenyi, Uzuenyi gets his man, Obioso. Can he get into the box? Obioso oh, crosses the chance for Rangers score. Keeper was closest to the ball. Then all the other players, including one red shirted player there. Good play from uh, Obioso at last. Yeah, fantastic footwork there. They can't get out of my way. I'm successful in doing that. I'm chipping the ball, unfortunately. I to get that one clear. Beatrice Dada for Rangers. And Christian Obioso, he leaves the man, his man for dead. And uh, finally, is a throw into Rangers. Solid tackle there coming from Ike Tango. That man uh, built had it all they can. And now uh, he does it. He completely deceived the goalkeeper. And uh, well, I actually thought Christian Obioso was right footed. He would seem to be one of those few players that strike equally with the right and with the left with uh, greater aplomb. Rangers uh, take the lead here on 21 minutes in this uh, really dinger of a game. A good decision by Rangers International just three days ago when they won 2 1 here against the office of Port Harcourt. They got a penalty as well. Matthew Yates is struck it. The goalkeeper saved it and Obioza scored. And uh, today they were not going to play with that. And you can see why he's been given that responsibility. That's what they call finishing with a plum. Totally, totally wrong footed Danny Akpedia. Just rode it straight down the middle. The goalkeeper made the move to his left. And that's the way you finish them. 1-0 Rangers International. And that counts also as the seventh goal this season for Christian Obioso. Comes before the end of this half. Nasrawa have never left Enugu with any point in the last uh, four seasons. They have not scored a goal here at Ennamdi Azikiwe Stadium. And so it will be a history broken by them if they score a goal here. Because in all subsequent visits to the city of Enugu, there's never been a goal scored. It was a tackle by Baba Idris at the edge. It was a rampaging Christian Obiozo that was stripped there by Captain Baba Idris. And had he not done that, Obiozo would just have been inside the 18 yard box. And who knows, that might just have been the first goal. But it's a free kick to Rangers at the edge of the solid minus' box. Obiozo. Step to still craft something dangerous late on. Wonderful passes from Rangers. 
An opportunity, and then look at that. Oh, how unfortunate for Osas. He put his hands to his head. He had a wonderful opportunity. He did most of almost everything right, but so. Good cross driven in, but the connection was not the very best that the dream team, Nigeria's under 23 national team, but it's Pilas, they have an opportunity. Now you can strike from there, and he strikes, and that's it. Cano Pilas take the lead here, and Adresa is well deserved, it's obvious again. New buy from Rangers International of Enugu, slack defending by the dream team. But good forward movement from Kano Pillars. Eventually, Jonah Eastman has been beaten. His heroics have managed to keep his team in it up till this moment. But on the 30 minute mark, it's Kano Pillars who take the lead. Again, a sweet movement of the ball. All started there by that man, uh, Ezekiel Mba. Rolled the ball across. And of course, you can see that that is Gambo Mohamed. He takes the shot. And uh, the goalkeeper couldn't stop it. That power in Christian Obioza was there to just brush it in for his second of the tournament. And against the Dream Team.